Hello everyone and welcome to Sunday School Extravaganza. I am excited you're joining me today to worship and learn about God. Our theme today is dealing with feelings. Now, let us pray. Lord Jesus, we are very thankful for today. We thank you for your love and protection. Open our heart and mind as we worship today and give us understanding as we study your word. This we ask in the mighty name of Jesus, and I want you to shout, Amen. Everybody, everywhere, all around the world. Listen up right now because I got something to say, and it will be heard. I made up my mind, not afraid to show. That's right. some time to watch a Bible story together. Today's story will show us how King David displayed his joy and gratitude as he brought the Ark of God back to Jerusalem. I want you to sit down quietly and enjoy the story. The things to discover This book is alive Full of answers and godly advice This book is alive Through history and poetry How much Jesus loves me God's great story lives There's no other book like this This book is alive Second Samuel A long time ago There was a box called The Ark of the Covenant It was a holy box that contained items That reminded people 
of God's faithfulness to them. God's power surrounded this box. Moving it from one place to another required extreme care. King David decided to move the ark to Jerusalem so that he could keep it safe. He gathered 30,000 of Israel's best men to move it. They loaded the ark on a cart and pushed it all the way to Jerusalem. While they moved the ark, David and the men celebrated with all their might. As they traveled, they made a joyful noise to the Lord with all kinds of noisemakers. As they brought the ark into the city of David, the streets were filled with shouts and the sound of trumpets. King David was so excited about the ark's arrival in his city that he was dancing in the streets in his underwear. His wife, Michael, saw this from a window and was unhappy with David's leaping and dancing before the Lord. David put the Ark of the Covenant in the place he had designated for it and went home. When he got there, Michael was waiting for him. She was disappointed and angry. She told David that the king of Israel should know better than to dance around in the streets in his underwear. But David was not embarrassed. He told her that he was dancing for the Lord. He said it didn't matter what he was wearing. He would celebrate and be happy before the Lord. He didn't care what anybody said or what other people thought. King David was so happy that he couldn't contain it. He had to dance and celebrate all the Lord had done for him and his people. I hope you have learned something new from our story today. Now, let's recap. Today's story teaches us that we should be unashamed in expressing praise to our Lord in everything that we do. It is now time for our memory verse, and it's taken from Psalm 86, verse 12. Psalm 86, verse 12. I will praise you, Lord, my God, with all my heart. I will glorify your name forever. And I'm going to read that again. Psalm 86, verse 12. I will praise you, Lord, my God, with all my heart. I will glorify your name forever. Amen. It's crap time. Our craft today would focus on how King David displayed his joy and gratitude as he brought the Ark of God back to Jerusalem. King David did not feel ashamed but danced to the glory of God. Can you imagine how he was feeling? Hmm. I think he was feeling really, really excited and happy. When we feel happy, it shows on our face and others can see our joy. Now, I want you to draw someone, it could be yourself or it could be a friend, with a very happy face worshipping God, okay? And that is what I want you to do for your craft. A very happy face worshipping God. Have fun! We have come to the end of Sunday School. But before we go, let us see how we can apply today's story to our lives. If we truly worship from our hearts, that pleases God. It is fine to dance before the Lord so long as the dance is in good taste and glorifies God. We shouldn't only worship at church, but we should have the same joyful attitude no matter where we are, either at school or at home. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for what we have learned today. We thank you for the joy that you give us when we worship. Help us to be joyful in everything that we do. This we ask in the mighty name of Jesus, and I want you to shout, Amen. Thank you for worshiping with us today, and have a blessed week. Bye. <laughs>